What's up guys, it's John with AdSense Flippers and this is the end of the site setup process. So we've already got WordPress set up, we've got our content installed on there, we've updated and activated our plugins. So this is going to be the last stage where we're going to get our theme set up. Now I only showed you how to get your primary content set up. Obviously if you have more articles to set up on your theme you'll want to do those, but you'll do those exactly the same as you did uh, your first article. So let's move on to getting our actual themes set up. Alright, so now we're in WordPress and we have our CTR theme activated. Now this is a paid theme, so it's not free, but uh, we've used it quite a bit and we do like it. So we'll go ahead and once we activate CTR theme, we're going to go down here, this little uh, icon and menu will appear, CTR theme. We'll click on that. First thing we'll need to do is activate it you'll just go over here and put in your email and your activation code that you got when you purchased the theme. Save changes. Next we'll go to general site options. First we like to use the second layout from the bottom here. Uh, we, we found that that works better than most of the other ones. Moving down we got to enter our site title. So what we like to do is just remove this text and right where it says niche site in between the span tags we'll type tree stabilizer. Very good. If you have a custom header image you can upload that here. We're just going to leave it blank. All right. Google Analytics code. Now you need to set up analytics for your website because you definitely want uh, you definitely want to track your you know your page views and your links and your traffic and all that stuff. So make sure you to go to Google Analytics, sign up and then you put the code that is generated in here. Okay. All right, and then lastly, we'll disable the CTR theme footer link, so we don't really need to link back to the CTR site. And close this down. Save those changes. AdSense options. All right, this is where you're going to put all the codes for your AdSense ads. And you can see over here that this tells you exactly what size you need to you need to create. So you have to log into AdSense, create ads that are for example 160 by 600 and then 336 by 280 etc cetera, etc cetera, and paste those codes into these boxes once that's done you get to pick which layouts you want to rotate through we just stick with three because we found they work best so let's uncheck the ones that we don't want all right very good so just this one that and that over there cool scrolling down now these are your channel IDs. So if you assign your, your different ads ID channels so you can track them by group, this is where you're going to go ahead and put those, those IDs so you can uh, keep track of things in AdSense. This doesn't track within CTR theme, but it'll allow you to go back and organize your data a little bit better when you go back to look at it uh, in your AdSense account. Go ahead and save that info. Minimize it. And that's all we're going to do with CTR theme. We just save changes and we're good to go. If you don't use CTR theme, then we recommend you use ProSense. So we'll go to Appearance. In fact, actually we use ProSense on a lot of our sites, even though we have CTR as an option. So let's go ahead and activate ProSense. And there's just a couple things that you need to do to get ProSense working correctly. All right, let's go into the editor. And we're going to go to the header. So we want to make sure that analytics are tracking statistics for this website. So if you scroll down a little bit within their header code, you'll see analytics code here. And this is where you put your analytics ID, which is going to look oops, just like that. It'll be a UA dash bunch of numbers dash uh, two numbers. And that's created when you set up your analytics account. So make sure you do that. Once that's set up, we're going to go ahead and adjust our ads. Now, if you go in here, you'll see AdSense homepage banner, AdSense homepage link unit, AdSense sidebar, etc., etc. You have two basic options. The old AdSense code comes by default. And if you want, all you have to do is replace what's called your pub ID here. And that will basically reroute these ads to be your ads and when they get clicks uh, it will credit your account. If you want the more modern uh, feedback and more modern data 
and statistic collection within AdSense, you have to replace this entire code, okay, from script to script with a generated code within your AdSense account. So it's really up to you which way you want to go. If you're going to go ahead and replace the whole code, make sure that you pick the right sizes for your ad. So just check the width and height, go into your AdSense account, create a new ad, and then paste it in. All right, that's really about it. Your website should be basically set up and ready to roll. After this, you'll start some link building, and hopefully in a couple months, you'll start to see some, uh, some returns.